Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom, and right now during Theros Beyond Death previews, Card Kingdom is hooking up everyone who pre-orders Theros Beyond Death product with a sweet new spirit token. So head over to CardKingdom.com and pre-order your Theros Beyond Death cards today. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. So it's been a while since we've explored modern, since Pioneer has come out, we've played a lot of Pioneer, but last week we had an all modern against odds poll so today we are going back to modern to play a deck i'm calling the bludgeoning we are playing bludgeoned brawl one of the most challenging cards i think i've ever tried to build a deck around it is a hard one also a note on the poll Technically, Quest for Ula's Temple snuck out a victory over Bludgeon Brawl. However, I made a mistake. I completely forgot that, like, 150 episodes ago, we actually played Quest for Ula's Temple. And when I went to build a Quest for Ula's Temple deck, it was going to look a lot like the first time we played it. So I figured it was probably better to declare Bludgeon Brawl the second place card as our winner and save Quest for Ula's Temple for after Ikora, because I would not be surprised if Big Sea Creatures is one of the themes of that set. So I I will revisit Quest for Rulers Temple, I promise, but let's wait till after Ikora drops so we're not just playing the same deck that we played a couple of years ago. So, the Bludgeoning is the deck we're playing today, and good lord, is this deck super janky. Fingers crossed that we eventually can win with it, we will see. A quick reminder before we break down the Bludgeoning for Modern. If you enjoy this deck, and you enjoy Against the Odds in general, it would be amazing of you. If you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk the bludgeoning, starting with our names at guard, Bludgeon Brawl, and good lord is this a weird enchantment. So two mana, so three mana red enchantment, each non-creature, non-equipment artifact is an equipment with equip X, and equipped creature gets plus X plus zero, where X is that artifact's converted mana cost. So the idea of this deck is we got to play a bunch of non-creature, non-equipment artifacts. Then we play Bludgeon Ball to turn them all into equipment. Then we got to get them all in our creature and beat our opponent down. And I have to say, my favorite part of this deck by far is just some of the visuals we get. Some of the weird weapons. We're turning these random artifacts into things we're using to attack our opponent. So even though I'm not convinced this deck is going to do much as far as winning, I think it is going to be hilarious. So we have Idyllic Tutor to go with Bludgeon Brawl. Basically, Bludgeon Brawl is a unique effect. It is the only card in Magic that does what it does, turning everything into an equipment. So we really need to find this to make sure our deck does what we're trying to do. So Idyllic Tutor, just an extra copy of Bludgeon Brawl. So what are we playing artifact-wise? And this is where the deck gets really funny. We have a ton of cheap cycling artifacts. Arkham's Astrolabe, Alchemist Vile, Golden Egg, Gill Globe. These are all just random, seemingly not that powerful artifacts that come into play draws a card to keep us churning through our deck eventually we find our bludgeon brawl and then suddenly these all turn into weapons we can pick up the golden egg and like smash our opponent over the head with it or the guild globe this cute little snow globe i guess that could kind of do some damage so i'm not sure how these things actually hurt our opponent but technically once we get bludgeon brawl Guild Globe can be picked up by a creature or a golden egg and give it plus two plus zero so it's giving it more power so these will eventually be the things we're using to attack our opponent. We also have Renegade Map which allows us to cut down to just 17 real lands. Our deck is pretty cheap for the most part. Renegade Map just one mana comes into play tap, sack it to get a basic land so this gives us what is essentially a tap land that can also be a weapon if we don't need more lands. We just leave Renegade Map on the battlefield, put it on one of our creatures, start, I don't know ripping it in front of our opponent's face. I don't know how you hurt someone with a map, but it can turn into a weapon. We also have some fetch lands, shock lands, fast lands to cast our spells. As far as the rest of our deck, we have a couple of other artifacts that are important with Bludgeon Brawl. Hammer Perforos, that actually seems like it could do some damage, like if you smash someone with that. So that gives a creature plus three plus zero if we equip it, plus it gives all of our creatures haste and we can turn extra lands into three three golems. And then Gruel War Prowl is basically to give our creature trample. Uh, we can build a really big creature in this deck by just putting all of our random eggy artifacts on it but we want to be able to get through our opponent's blockers so gruel war plow can give a creature trample we can actually turn it into a juggernaut with the help of like our astrolabe and some of our random artifacts like golden egg actually fix our mana if we need to even though we technically don't have green mana in our mana base so these are our big payoff artifacts so what are we putting all of these random artifacts on and here 
we got a few different options. The spiciest is Velshuk Battlemaster. Velshuk Battlemaster comes into play all equipment in play get attached to it. So that means any artifacts our opponent have, all of our artifacts, just for free, suction their way onto Battlemaster. So it's picking up the maps and the hammers and the war plows and the snow globes and just like smashing our opponent with haste with all of those things. Then we have a bunch of other free equip creatures. Fervent Champion, since equipping costs three less, any artifact in our deck except for Gru Warplow equips for free. And Warplow is only one mana. Pure Steel Paladin, as long as we have three artifacts, everything equips for free. Kazool's Toll Collector just attaches equipment to itself for free. So this means that once we get Bludgeon Brawl, any one of these creatures, we can just all of a sudden throw all of our now equipment artifacts onto them and have like a 10 power creature, a 20 power creature, maybe as soon as like turn four ish, just build this massive threat, smash our opponent with all these janky like snow globes and golden eggs, and hopefully use that to kill our opponent. Otherwise, Path to Exile, a little bit of removal. Sideboard wise, we get a bunch more things that turn into equipment eventually, but are also hate cards. Pithy Needle uh, shuts down like a planeswalker, plus we can just like poke our opponent with it. Relic of Genitus, Torpor Orb, more hate cards that also turn into equipment, Blood Moon, Ghostly Prison, uh, to help slow down our opponent and buy us a little bit more time, work with Idyllic Tutor so we can tutor them up, a Braid, Wear Tear for more removal, Wear Tear, especially important because something like Stody Silence, really bad for our deck, technically like Velshuk Battlemaster and Toll Collector get around it because we aren't actually equipping the artifacts, activating the artifacts to equip them, but still very hard for us to beat because we can't just play like Fervent Champion and equip everything to it, or Pure Steel Paladin and equip everything to it so these cards help deal with those eight cards and that is the bludgeoning for modern and that's our against the odds deck for this week so is there any chance this actually works my hopes are not super high <laughs> we when our deck does everything perfectly we are playing a bludgeon brawl on turn three and then making a pretty decent creature on turn four uh this is modern where some decks on turn three are like playing a karn or storming off or whatever so we'll have to see the thing i love about this deck as i said is it's just hilarious so even if we lose the way we lose will hopefully be funny and entertaining and i have hope that if we keep trying eventually it's going to come together we're going to pick up some wins so let's see if we can bludgeon some people to death with golden eggs and vials and maps and all these super ultra janky equipment in modern thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy it and i will talk to you soon all right against the odds time we are trying to bludgeon our opponent to death <laughs> uh in a brawl even in modern and uh we got a we got our uh bludgeon brawl so snap keep we need to find a creature but we should find one eventually snow covered forest for our opponent and astrolabe sure opponent passes I think we're going to wait, not upkeep crack. We draw a path. Well, crack renegade map, snow-covered mountain. Play the snow-covered mountain, and yeah, let's just keep renegade mapping. Pass the turn. This time, we probably will crack on our upkeep. Opponent, probably okuing in some form. It's always oko these days. Opponent, cracks missing rainforest. Gets a snow-covered forest. Devoted druid. Huh. Oh, do we have to kill this now? If we don't, we can't play Bludgeon Brawl, or else we risk dying to infinite. I guess Bludgeon Brawl doesn't do anything, so sure. We'll untap. We will Renegade Map. Snow Covered Plains. Draw. Ooh, Pure Steel. Hmm. Well, if I had known we were going to draw Pure Steel. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. All right, play the egg. Draw a card. Pass the turn. Misty Rainforest. Opponent cracks it. I mean, Pure Steel is our best card, Snow Covered Island, and Karn the Great Creator. Okay, that's not, oh boy, that's so bad. Ha, huh. all right, all right, all right, all right. Outside the game, oh boy, yeah, Karn, ugh. Boy, there's a lot of things that are good against Bludgeon Brawl, aren't there? <laughs> Vote it. Well, I mean, I guess it's a lattice. Well, Path the Voted Druid. So this means the clock is definitely on. Pwn's going to untap it for some reason. Float a mana. All right. We get to untap. Well, play Bludgeon Brawl. Inspiring Vantage. Go. The bad news is we can't equip anything with this car now. And opponent, of course, still gets to use their Astrolabe. Water Log Grove. Utopia's Brawl. So we get, ugh, we get locked next turn. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what we do about this, honestly. So we can play Pure Steel, draw some cards. Opponent, gonna tutor out another artifact. Spell Skite. Ew. 
So now we can never kill the Karn? Hmm. Yeah, I... Th well, all right, we'll see what we draw. <laughs> Hooray for Oko. Uh, yeah. Makes it 3-3, three, three. and now we're just... I don't even know if we show our opponent pure Steel Paladin, honestly. We're just... we're dead. We get Lattice Locked. Uh, yeah, alright, we're not gonna show anything. On to the next one! <laughs> uh, I don't know how long it'll take. It might be... it might be several matches, but... We'll get our opponent eventually. Does not seem like a good Blood Moon matchup. Pithy Needle Wear Tear. Seem decent. Uh, we will bring those in. We'll go down Hammer of Perforos. We will go down... I guess a War Plow gets got by Oko. Maybe a Renegade map or two. And, uh... Anything else? Uh, you gotta cut one more of something. Eh, let's go down one more map. Try it like that. Alright! Alright, alright. No Okos. No Karns. <laughs> Seven Land Opener. <laughs> That's what we're hoping for. Come through, Magic Gods. <laughs> Uh, we get to play first. All right. We got a wear tear, which is a way to fizzle the lock. We get a redraw. We are missing... We are missing a bludgeon brawl, but... Well, draw a card. Okay, there's bludgeon brawl. Well, all right. I mean, Oko's awesomely obnoxious, but... Outside of Oko, this hand seems reasonable. Opponent, Arbor Elf. Oh, dear. Well, we untap. Is this deck just all in on... Ramping into Karn? Is that what's happening? Nah, okay. Ship the turn. So we would like another land to get down Bludgeon Brawl. Fervent Champion is decent. We have a lot of what we want to execute our plan. We'll see... We'll see if it uh, works out how we're hoping. Oh, is this... Oh, Oko. Oh, dear. Okay, yep. Food. Oko. Modern's a one format where it's still loud for some reason. Uh, let's Bludgeon Brawl. <laughs> Allowing our opponent to equip their food. Well, we're actually going to get to the point of equipping things, which is sweet. We can Fervent Champion, Equip, Equip, Astrolab, Equip, and have a Path to Exile. Opponent has Gilded Goose. Make some food. Sure. We would like to equip before Karn comes down, although Toll Collector does get around Karn. Since we're activating a creature, we do have ways to get around Karn. And <laughs> Kizul's Toll Collector is one of them. Bought it. Astrolab, sure. Draws a card. I wonder, uh, I wonder how long Oko makes it a modern. Opponent can also go equipping. This is an enchant world, essentially. Opponent gonna tune around their food. Uh-huh. Gets in. Hits us. And we, okay. Play Fervent Champion. Equip. <laughs> Equip. Doing it. We're doing it. It's coming together. Um, snow-covered planes. Astrolabe. Draw a card. Equip. Attack Oko. That's a 5-1 first strike on turn four. <laughs> Bludgeon Brawl. Bludgeon Brawl doing it. It's just going to keep growing, opponent. You better have something. <laughs> the Vermin Javion's coming for you. <laughs> uh, get him. Get him, Javier. <laughs> Phone it. Going to block with the food. Sure. Now we pass the turn. Missy Rainforest. Cracks it. <laughs> I just love the image of this card. Okay, opponent's gonna elk our fervent champion, which is kind of fine. It actually sort of makes it bigger. Ah, uh, Oko. Okay. It does take away free equipping, which is annoying. But we do have uh, our toll collector. Tapping, untapping, five mana, four mana, three mana. I mean, we're we're kind of doing things this game. Devoted druid, and opponent's gonna pass. All right. Well, we will kill devoted or exile devoted druid. Maybe we can kill this Oko. Um, Golden Egg draw card. Hmm. I don't think we want to equip. I think we go to combat. I'm worried about our opponent exchanging control of a food. But if we leave up Wear Tear, we can fizzle it. All right. Blocks with the goose. Makes another food. How bad is the exchange of control? Opponent gets a 3-3. Three, three. We get a food. It would be kind of funny to equip a food. All right. Toll Collector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Toll Collector <laughs> snags a golden egg. <laughs> the most vicious of weapons. Phone at six mana. Oh no. What do they have? What is this? Oh, is it like finale by the looks? Oh, crosses. Okay. Craw, craw. Yeah, we don't actually have an answer for that. So opponent makes a 5-5. Five, five, turns it into an 8-8. Eight, eight. 
Well, now I guess we gotta run another path. Opponent, pass it. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, well, boom. Move it over, boom. Move it over, boom. Move it over. Go to combat everything at Oko. So Crossus trades. Eh, play a war plow. <laughs> pass the turn. So next turn we get Pure Steel equip everything up again. Unless our opponent finds a car, and then then life becomes sad. <laughs> Ooh, I, <laughs> this deck, it's not going to be very good at winning, I don't think, but boy, it is kind of hilarious. Oh, really? Mm, all right. Well, that's... That is not good for us. That's a Karn, which means we can't use any of our... We can't use any of our artifacts anymore. <sighs> In theory, we can stop it from locking us by leaving up mana, but opponent turns on an astrolabe. Passes, we draw. Land, I'll play in the land. If we play pure seal, it just gets elked. I think we just, we just gotta pass. We did things. Then we got Oko and Karn, but we did do things. Opponent, Ice Fang, Quaddle, sure. Draw the guard. So we can like try to fizzle the lock with wear tear, but oh dear, another quaddle. Yeah, I think our opponent has us now. Even if we, even if we can stop the lattice with wear tear, we just can't get through this Karn and this pile of death dodgers, and we can't equip. Yeah, Karn's really good against us. I mean, sure. Um, so wear the lattice, but there's still a Karn. We still can't equip. All right, we have to draw. Oh, we have to draw our Velshuk. Uh, oh, come on. Off the top. One time. One time. One time. Oh, Bludgeon Brawl. All right, now we're dead. If we had drawn Velshuk uh, Sorcerer, I always forget the last name of that. Warrior? The thing that equips everything to itself. If we had drawn that, was that lethal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, zero. No, I guess not. All right. Oh, there it is. Battlemaster. It would have been it would have been sweet. And it would have let us kill the Karn at least, but then we would have died on the backswing. Yeah, that's Karn's rough. Karn's rough. Alright. Against the odds. Ugh. D time. <laughs> We're trying to bludgeon people to death in modern, but uh gonna have to mulligan this one. No lands, no keep. It's a good a good rule. One land, one keep. That's another rule we have. <laughs> Not a good one, but it is a it is a rule we live by. Uh we're gonna put yeah, let's put Battlemaster to the bottom. Seems like a lot of mana. This is fine because we have Renegade Map, and Renegade Map gets us a, another land. So we technically have two lands. Well, now we technically have three lands. Uh, all right, so Renegade Map, go. I mean, this is kind of working. We have a champion. We have Bludgeon Brawl, so we're going to be able to hopefully start equipping our, our golden eggs. <laughs> Got them. <laughs> Bought it. Taking up their vial. We don't have much removal to deal with something like merfolk we just have to make a big old fervent champion i guess oh might be like fairies oh oh we wanted these cards opponent oh, come on now <laughs> oh <laughs> we actually uh they can take a budget brawl i guess as long as the other one resolves <laughs> we need all these i'm waiting for someday an opponent to take advantage of bludgeon brawl and equip something uh, all right, so we'll crack Renegade map, get a snow-covered plains. Play snow-covered plains. Renegade map. Pass the turn. I mean, if our opponent, like, plays a creature and equips Aether Vial and beats us down, then, uh, <laughs> can't even be mad about that. I kind of want to see that. Opponent. Cracks. Plains. Lingering souls. Sure. Ooh, another Fervent Champions, all right. Well, crack Renegade map. Snow-covered, I guess, plains. Play the snow-covered plains. Run out bludgeon brawl. All right, we're doing it. Your go opponent. <laughs> uh, do it. Do it. Turn that spirit into a 2-1. <laughs> uh, come on, opponent. See the line. See the line. Uh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I don't know why I'm so happy to see that. How does this even hurt you? That that little vial is dealing an extra point of damage. Opponent gets in for three. Yeah. Leaving up their mana. Well, let's... Hmm. Play Golden Egg. Draw a card. Play 
Astrolabe, draw a card. Inspiring Vantage, go. I feel like we would rather our opponent tap down. We gotta, oh no, Self of Spirit. Oh no, Rattle Chains, this isn't good. All right, all right, Javier, it's up to you. Opponent, gonna tick up their equipment vial. Opponent just has so many creatures. Opponent, combat, gets in. Hits us for a bunch. Well, snow-covered mountain. Fervent champion. Equip. Please don't kill it. Equip. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, we got him. That's a four-one. Boom. Take four. <laughs> Feel the power of our golden egg. <laughs> no. Aw. Aw. All right. Well, that didn't last as long as we would have liked. Pass, pass the turn. Yeah, we're in kind of a tough spot here. Opponent untaps. Um, let's path a s rattle chains. Another rattle chains. All right, now we're now we're officially dead. <laughs> well, we got to see our opponent take advantage of our bludgeon brawl. At least someone's getting value out of it. Uh, we will bring in. Hmm, we haven't had too many jank them out with blood moon matchups. Bring in a ghostly prison. Bring in a braid. Do we want blood moon? Maybe a couple blood moons. Go down. Gruel War Plow. Couple of Renegade maps. And then maybe one. I really want to battle master someone, but it just never never works out. We'll go down the Hammer of Perforos, I guess. And. Yeah, all right. One map. Run it like that. All right. We get to play first. Yeah, all right. We'll keep this. Sand seems pretty good. If we actually resolve Blood Moon, that does have some jank out power. Uh, Arid Mesa. Crack it. Snow covered plains and renegade map. Go. We are missing our bludgeon brawl. Opponent cracks flood strand, gets a basic, yeah. and mausoleum wander. Um, hmm. Well, arid mesa, crack it. Snow covered plains and guild globe. Draw card. Pure steals for days, but they don't do anything until we get a bludgeon brawl, unfortunately. Opponent, see chrome coast and supreme phantom. Yup, opponent gets in for three. Well, Crack Renegade map, Snow-Covered Mountain, and, I mean, we are going to Blood Moon. We'll see. Opponent's already got a clock, though. Uh, opponent. Mountain. So we've slowed our opponent down, but can we actually beat what they have on the battlefield? Opponent gets in. We gotta find our Bludgeon Brawl. Gotta find it soon. Path is interesting. Um, so let's Astrolabe. Draw a card. Sacred Foundry. Astrolabe. Draw a card. Bludgeon Brawl. Alchemist File, draw a card. All right. Wrong three-man enchantment. <laughs> we already got the blood moon. Oh, no. The clock keeps increasing. Looks like our... I mean, we're, we put our board to one blue source, and they're a three-color deck, but that one blue source, looking like it might be enough just to beat us. Well, Path Supreme Phantom, unfortunately. This does give our opponent a basic, which isn't great. Um, Fervent Champion. Pure Steel Paladin. Boom. Take one. <laughs> Phone it down to 18. I guess at some point we can sack this to fizzle one. Oh my goodness. Uh, so many one mana flyers. More? What does our opponent have with... Aww. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think we have a way out of this now. Even if we draw Bludgeon Brawl, I don't think it saves us. Down to four. We do not draw Bludgeon Brawl. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Next time. Sooner or later, we're going to get it. All him. right. Against the odds time, we are bludgeoned brawling in modern, and we're going to keep this. We have our bludgeon brawl, which is our most important piece. We're going to need to find a creature at some point, but, um, yeah, let's just Arid Mesa crack it. Snow-covered plains. Renegade map. Go. Polluter Delta for our immunity and passes. All right, that's a creature. Um, Arid Mesa, go. I think we want to play our bludgeon, uh, bludgeon, bleh, bludgeoned brawls before we play for champion. It's hasty anyway. It's only getting in for one, and it's probably dying if we're playing against Demir. So, opponent. Polluter Delta Part Two cracks it. Snow covered island, and boo, bitter blossom. All right, well, crack this. Get a Sacred Foundry. Untap. Snow-covered plains and... Bludgeon Brawl. Pass the turn. Look out, opponent. <laughs> 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 
We're gonna come at you with this uh, renegade map. It looks pretty painful. <laughs> Opponent passes. Uh, let's play Alchemist File. Draw a card. Opponent counters. Yeah. All right. Well, please no. Please no fatal push. Fervent champion. Fervent champion. Just gonna pick up this map. <laughs> oh no! Uh, <laughs> there's so many things that make this plan difficult. Bitter Blossom, yeah, makes a token, plays a tap land. Well, now we need we need another creature someday. Hammer of Perforo, so we'll play Guild Globe. Draw a card. Crack the map. Snow-covered mountain. And, now yeah, let's lay the egg. Draw a card. Pass the turn. Bonus. Aw, bounces. <laughs> Opponent makes a fairy. Yeah. Haha, -ha, joke's on you. We have two bludgeon brawls. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, goodness. Bonet takes the hammer of Perforos. Probably wise, since it's our only actual creature. Ooh. All right, so bludgeon brawl. Let's try this again. Fervent champion. Please, please, for once, let us, let us just, let us just attack you with our, aw. Remand, drown in the lock. <laughs> oh dear. Opponent gets in. Yeah, I think uh I think we're we're dying. Opponent passes. Alright, fervent champion. Come on, it, uh, let us hit you. What's the worst that can happen? Oh my goodness. Alright, spell stutter, and now we're I mean, even if we use all this, what are we doing? Attacking for five into a trump blocker? Not super helpful. Well, ghostly prison in uh Maybe a Braids and Blood Moons? I feel like we are solidly in jank, jank em out mode. That seems to be this deck's favorite mode. <laughs> Trim some maps, some expensive stuff. Bring the Blood Moons, bring the Braids. Run it like that. Ghostly Prison seems good if it resolves. Resolving things not necessarily easy against, against fairies. All right, so this hand has no combo pieces, but it does have redraws and it does have removal. So I think maybe that's enough that we can keep it, even if it isn't great. Uh, Arid Mesa, crack it. Snow covered plains, Astrule, draw guard. Well, Ghostly Prison could be sweet. I don't know what our odds are of actually resolving it. Yeah, getting lower by the second. Yeah, Ghostly Prison down. Well, snow covered. Planes, pure steel paladin doesn't do anything till we get a bludgeon brawl though. Then it can do a lot. Opponent has the fatal push. Well, play guild globe, draw a card. Arid Mesa, go. Now well, we got a lot of removal at the moment, but not a whole lot else. Mute vault. Opponent passes. Well, crack Arid Mesa. Thin the deck. Sacred foundry tapped. Untap. Um, alchemist vile. Draw a card. Wow. Opponent gonna counter it just because they can. Looks like. Sure. Snow-covered mountain goo. Basic land for our opponent. Ugh. Bitter Blossom's rough. That's a source of creatures that uh going to be difficult for our removal to keep up with. So much disruption. <laughs> yep. Ha-ha. <laughs> we don't have a bludgeon brawl, so this doesn't do anything, but get in for one. Opponent knows we have a handful of removals, so they're not going to activate their Muta Vaults and such. Oh, opponent. Down to 17. Down to 16. Okay, we're making some headway. Still would like a bludgeon brawl. Another tar pit for our opponent. Oh, he might have ran him out of interaction. Discard, removal, double counter. Cruel War Plow? How do you feel about that, opponent? Ooh, okay. We actually, we actually can use Astrolabe to activate that. I think that's our main game plan now. War Plow, beatdown. Aw, Snapcaster. Huh. That's strange. Why would they not counter? Oh, all right. Yep. Well, here comes the beatdown. Opponent's got a board full of threats. And lands that are threats. Fires up Muta Vault. Yep. Plays a land. Gets in for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hitting us to 12. Well, play Snow-Covered Plains. Turn away into a green. Boom. Cruel War Plow. Get in there. Plow ya. Down to 11. Pass the turn. Is there a world where this works? Opponent goes to 10. Mutavault. Goes to combat. Attacks. 
Well, path mutavault. Opponent's going to counter. Path mutavault. Ugh. Yeah. Not great. <laughs> so much interaction. So we drop to eight, which I think leaves us dead next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I guess we're doing the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. So if we attack, we're just dead. Ugh. All right. Pass the turn. Ugh. Close. Gruel Warplow actually did things. This Bitter Blossom, just so much value. Opponent. Gonna get creepy. Goes to combat. Attack. So we will war plow. Oh dear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Yep. That leaves us dead. Hi, yi, 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 yi. Well, next time. We'll get him next time. Sooner or later. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take to actually bludgeon someone, but sooner or later it'll happen. I promise you that. <laughs> All right. Against the odds time, we are trying to bludgeon <laughs> some. Some opponents to death. <laughs> In modern. Hard mode. Hard mode this week. Uh, two Bludgeon Brawls, no creatures, one land. We do really want Bludgeon Brawl. That is our single most important card, but I don't think we can keep this. And we got London Malls. What the wor uh, what's the worst that can happen? Wow, this guy's a lot of redraws. All right, well, I mean, we're on six. I think we keep this and just try to try to redraw our way into what we need, hopefully. A lot of guild globes. <laughs> hopefully we can eventually turn them into uh, into some weapons. Beat our opponent down with the snow globe there. Oh, come on. Come on, Tron. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we'll see. Chromatic Spear for our opponent. Well, um, should be interesting. If things go well for us, on turn three we get uh, we get Bludgeon Brawl. If things go well for our opponent, on turn three they get Karn Liberated. I think that's roughly comparable. Opponent has a little bit more loyalty, but close enough. <laughs> Found it, gonna crack. Grove of the Burn Willows. Chromatic Star. We do have Blood Moons after sideboarding. That might give us hope. Maybe we just mulligan into Blood Moon or attempt to. Ancient strings. So no turn three Tron. Turn four Tron looking likely. Come on deck. Yeah, well, that's Bludgeon Brawl. Now we need a creature. Gill Globe. <laughs> Draw a card. Yeah, alright. Inspiring Vantage. There's the Ursus Mine. And Expedition Map. So Tron definitely coming next turn. Opponent cracks. Gets a tower. Well, Inspiring Vantage. Alchemist File. Draw a card. Ha ha! Fervent Champion. Take one. That's actually a decent draw. I mean, unfortunately, we're going to probably get Karned or something. But otherwise, Bludger Brawl, equip, 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 hit you for a bunch. Like, our deck would be off to the races. Warplow incoming for more pumping and also trample. But alas, that's a Nugan. Kills our Fervent Champion. Play Alchemist File. Draw a card. Hmm. Unfortunately, Bludgeon Brawl does not pump toughness. I think we gotta draw <laughs> our Velshuk Battlemaster. Although it's probably, our opponent's just gonna ultimate Ugin, aren't they? Yeah, Chromatic Spear. Like we have things lined up, but we can't really do anything through this Ugin. Chromatic Star. All right, Um. yeah, I think, I think we can officially call it. <laughs> it. There's not really anything we can draw that changes how this is going to play out with Ugin at ultimate. Sideboard wise, Blood Moons, definitely in. Pithy Needles in. Uh, we will go down a couple Renegade maps. Maybe a War Plow. Trample doesn't seem as important in this matchup since our opponent shouldn't have many creatures. The Braids also seem fine. Killing an artifact can be relevant. <sighs> all right, let's go down. Let's go down all the maps. Try it like that. We can always, you know, pick up a pithy needle. <laughs> Thanks to Blood Your Brawl. Start <laughs> poking people. <laughs> I do I do have to say, I do like I do like the flavor of this deck. <laughs> it's got it's got some of the most hilarious flavor of any deck that we maybe ever played. Like <laughs> you have these like ferocious knights that are <laughs> 
<laughs> that are just picking up golden eggs and like smashing them <laughs> on cards and Ugans. It doesn't work predictably because <laughs> because you're smashing these powerful planeswalkers with a with an egg. So I guess even the losing is on point flavor wise. But it is it is definitely hilarious, I think. Land. Ooh, Blood Moon. Oh, we need a oh no, we missed point of damage there. Oops. A little bit aggressive clicking. Come on, lad, for Blood Moon before something horrible happens. Go for the burn, Willows, for our opponent. Sylvan Scrying getting those drawn lands. We actually have a chance if we draw a land here, I think. Oh, kill globe. Not a land. All right, more golden eggs. Land. Oh, no. This isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, we actually have a hand that could possibly beat Trod. Mine is one more land. <laughs> we have the Bludgeon Brawl. We have some... <laughs> some eggs to throw at our opponent <laughs> Halloween style uh, so alright well this is it opponent's got Tron this is the turn this is the turn we gotta top deck a land any land in our deck will do we've cycled we've drawn come on deck well they get Sanctum of Ugin alright well we, they must have Tron then come on deck come on land Oh, there it is unfortunately unfortunately the land comes <laughs> A little bit late. One card too deep in our deck. All right. Yep. Sure, sure, sure. Opponent. Ancient Stirrings. Looking for a Karn, maybe? Worm Coil Engine. Tron Assembled. Oh, Worm Coil. Okay. Well, there's hope. There's still hope. We can path a Worm Coil. And we can Blood Moon. Pass the turn. So this buys us a bit of time, at least. Okay, there, ho there's hope again. Worm Coil is not not the worst thing that could have happened there. Opponent plays a Urza's Tower. Goes to combat. Gets in. Still wouldn't mind just drawing a land. Down to 17. Opponent passes. Well, we will play Pure Steel Paladin. Let the equipping begin. Oh, we gotta wait one more turn. Alright, go to combat. So we get down Pure Steel Paladin. Path the Worm Coil engine. Then we get to untap, bludgeon brawl, equip everything. There's a chance. There's a chance that'll work. Unfortunately, this path, we're getting our opponent close to just being able to hard cast Dugan, which is less than ideal, I would say. Yeah, well, white mana, path it. Giving our opponent a land here is not optimal by any stretch, but... Opponent grabs a forest. And... Oh, dear. Okay. That's not great. Pyroclasm. Um... Yeah, I mean, play Bludgeon Brawl. Pass the turn! This is the turn where bad things can happen, though. And if our opponent can kill our Bludgeon Brawl, then our deck is back to uh, not really doing anything. Eight mana. Chromatic Sphere. Bone cracks it. And Worm Coil Engine. Hmm. Well, let's Alchemist Vile draw a card. Fervent Champion. <laughs> Gather up all of our eggs. <laughs> uh, you, you... You, you, and also you. You know what? I think we attack. Let's get in there. Take that trod. <laughs> yeah, we're coming for you. <laughs> Attack for 10. <laughs> Phone it. Going, going to block. Oh, no. Don't. Okay. Well, Fervent Champion with a bunch of eggs killed a worm coil. <laughs> it worked. How does it? How does an egg help there? Like throw it in its eyes or something? I don't even know. <laughs> Phone it. Dig it through the deck as Trot does. Chromatic Sphere. Oh, boy. Tapping many mana. Oblivion Stone. Well, those are sad times. Well, play Snow Covered Plains. Go to combat. Attack our opponent. Opponent blows up the world. Well, we got another Blood Moon, but nothing else. Pass the turn. Well, that was a good Fervent Champion for a minute. Uh, opponent. So many Worm Coils. And now we need another Bludgeon Brawl, really. Astrolabe, draw a card. Guild Globe, draw a card. Arid Mesa, 
Well, I guess we pass. So we can abrade Worm Coil. Eventually our opponent's gonna draw something massive though. Worm Coil gets in. Yeah, I think we blow it up. Buy ourselves a little bit of time at least. Maybe. About it. Chromatic Star. Hmm. I thought we had a chance this game actually, but three Worm Coils is a, uh, that is a lot. Astrolabe, draw a card. Show us Blood and Brawl number two. If our opponent can draw three Worm Coils, we should be able to draw two Blood and Brawls. Blood Moon. Hmm. Well, play Toll Collector. Play Fervent Champion. And pass the turn. Bludgeon Brawl. <laughs> Come on, Magic Gods. Show us that Bludgeon Brawl. That is one of the challenging things about building around Bludgeon Brawl is there is no second Bludgeon Brawl. Like, this is it. There's four of them. We do have Idyllic Tutor to find uh, copies, but there is no, is no backup. This is a very unique card. Pithing Needle. I'll play Hammer of Perforos. Tag our opponent, I guess. Opponent takes it. Pithing Needle. I think we just have to name Oblivion Stone. There's several things that just beat us. Karn, Ugin, and Oblivion Stone. Karn is probably actually the least bad of those at the moment. When Oblivion Stone, if our opponent finds an Oblivion Stone, it's just over. All right, Expedition Map, opponent cracks it. Power Plant. And passes. Mm, that's Bludgeon Brawl. Okay, Bludgeon Brawl. <laughs> Equip. Equip. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're gonna get to we're gonna get to needle him. <laughs> oh, Astrolabe, Hammer of Furfros. The hammer seems like a a kind of legit weapon that could do some damage. That could take out a worm. All right. Yeah. That's a nine one. Poke poke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna win a, a single game with this deck, but at least it's funny. I'm I'm somehow really enjoying this. I don't maybe it's a <laughs> maybe it's not nearly as funny as I think, but the flavor of it's just like cracking me up. <laughs> uh opponent. Get a block. I mean if our opponent whiffs for a few more turns, we could get there. Flocks with a lifelinger, sure. Pass the turn, whiff, 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 opponent, land, expedition map, okay, cracks it, mine, opponent's gotta have like all the lands out of their deck, opponent passes, well, golden egg, draw a card, <laughs> attach it, um, sack a land, get a golem, attach it, seven, seven, sacred foundry, Actually, let's, hmm, what is our best distribution? Let's equip that to Fervent Champion. We gotta force through as much damage as possible. Astrolabe, Toll Collector. Astrolabe, actually here, our Golem, our Golem could be on poking duty. <laughs> All right, you know the combat, attack. <laughs> here they come, through three Worm Coils. Opponent blocks, kills the toll collector, takes a bundle. Now, oh man, this is it. One more whiff, one more whiff, please. Please, one more whiff. All right, all right, opponent. Whiff, whiff, whiff. One more, one more whiff, one more whiff. Land, expedition map. Come on, come on. Tell us it's happening. Oh my goodness, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, oh my god. It took Tron drawing basically every land in their deck, but through three worm coils. We bludgeoned them. We have a golem wearing a pithy needle, and the golem comes from oh, a hammer of furfros that's being wielded by Furvich. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, if we don't win another match for the rest of uh, the rest of this episode, <laughs> or another game even, oh, we did it, and we did it against Trod, our most hated of matchups. So, uh, we'll take it. Sweet, sweet. Um, all right, we'll keep this. We got a Bludgeon Brawl. We got some Mana Rocks. No Blood Moon, so we could easily just get Tron, but Chromatic Star. You know, Aaron Mesa, goo. Boated. Tron land. 
Well, we had our fun last game. This game we might uh might be getting the Tron treatment. Elegant was vile. Draw a card. Go. Uh, opponent. All right. Well, it's not Tron yet. Um, play Astrolabe. Draw a card. Arid Mesa. Crack it. Get a snow covered plains. Guild Globe. Draw a card. Pass the turn. Opponent. No, no Tron lands. All right. No Tron land yet. Hmm. Pithing Needle, eh? I'll play Arid Mesa. Play Bludgeon Brawl. Crack Arid Mesa. Aww. Aww. Is our opponent killing it? Aww. We needed that. Hmm. Alright. Snow Covered, or Sacred Foundry Tap. Pass the turn. Well, no land. No land, no land, no land, no land, no land. Oh my. <laughs> really? <laughs> Not just a land, but the Missy Tron land? Aww. Oh, no. Well, that's a Karn. So, how do we have a chance? It probably involves top decking Blood Moon this turn. We can Pithy Needle the Karn and then Blood Moon? A Braid. Oh, Guild Globe. Draw a card. Hmm. Pithy Needle. Our opponent didn't sack the Sanctum Fugan, though, which is not a, not a great sign of things to come. All right, pass the turn. Wow, that was a that was a questionable keep and a good top deck. <laughs> Usually Tron does not keep hands that cannot cannot uh, assemble Tron, but now oh, it's a Ugin. Huh, imagine imagine that an Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Who would have thought? All right, so what can we draw now? I guess hmm, Pithy Needle number two, Alchemist Vial, Hammer of Perforos, Sacred Foundry. Well, I'm proud of how our deck functioned here. Uh, about it. Chromatic Star. Yeah, a little unfortunate our opponent drew that Tron land. And had basically every good thing in hand. Drag Tusk. Takes up Ugin. <laughs> Boy. Ugh. We draw land, and yeah, that, uh, that does it. Well, we fought the good fight. We took down Worm Coils with Pithy Needles and Gollum Tokens. I mean, we didn't win the match. That might be too much to ask for, Bludgeon Brawl. But we took down a game, and uh, we'd be proud of that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, sweet. At least as sweet as it's going to get, I think. All right. Against the odds time, we are playing Boros Bludgeoning and... Hmm... I think we had a mulligan this. We only have one land. We have Fervent Champion. We have Bludgeon Brawls. We actually have too many Bludgeon Brawls. Uh, yeah, we're going to ship it. Eh, all right. Well, this will keep snow-covered planes to the bottom. And, I mean, we'll see. Now we need a Bludgeon Brawl. That first hand was decent, except we didn't have Bludgeon Brawl. This hand, eh. We, oh, no, another land. Uh-oh. Eh, it's not ideal. Well, Astrolabe, draw a card. Well, there's Bludgeon Brawl. All right, so we are going to get to do things if we don't get Thought Seized. Overgrown Doom for our opponent. Tapped. Ooh, once upon a time. And Stitcher Supplier. Yeah. Stitcher Supplier, mill some cards. And Blood Crypt. Tapped. Well, play Inspiring Vantage. Play... Yeah, let's just play Golden Egg. We do get a lot of redraws, which is nice. Draw a guard. All right, all right, all right. So we might be able to get to the spot where we can... Hmm. So I think what we do is next turn we play Bludgeon Brawl. Then the following turn we can potentially pure steel, equip all of our eggs to to uh, all right, Grizzly Salvage, to our pure steel and go beat downs. Opponent mills some cards. Gets a Soul Flare. Well, Soul Flare's going to be coming. Thankfully, there's not anything great in the graveyard yet. Opponent goes to combat. Gets and hits us. Down to... 19. Now play a mountain, and we will get on our bludgeon brawl. Pass the turn. Well, we'll see. Definitely worried about Soul Flare. If it's just a 4-4, that's pretty okay. Uh, opponent. Ancient Jigarot. And Vengevine. Well, we'll see if they can remove our stuff. Opponent gets and hits us. Down to 14. Eh, Idyllic Tutor's not super helpful, but we will play a Pure Steel Paladin. Play Golden Egg. 
Draw a card. Draw a card. And do some equipping. <laughs> Surprised Moto is handling this. Uh, equip, equip, equip. And pass the turn. Don't kill it. Don't kill it, opponent. <laughs> please, please, no killing. <laughs> All right. All right. What you got? Once upon a time. Gets a Seder Wayfinder. Seder Wayfinder. All right. It looks like we're going to survive another turn. I don't know if we can actually win the game, though. Opponent gets a Samet. Plays a land. Oh, maybe. Yeah, opponent could still have Fatal Push. Goes to combat. Gets it. Ugh. I wish this gave the creature plus X plus X, but down to 11. Opponent passing. Ooh. Hoo hoo hoo. Well, Astrolabe. Draw a couple cards. Path to Exile's not the worst. Land. Yeah, I guess we keep drawing cards for now. Guild Globe. Draw a couple cards. Ooh, Fervent Champion. All right, Fervent Champion. Equip. Equip! And this is this is kind of working. Um, no attacks yet. Pass the turn. Yeah, this is actually really kind of working. Opponent. Cracks Verdant Catacombs. Over on two. Tapped. Opponent untaps. Well, we have built a wall of defense. <laughs> Our our Fierceo Paladin is <laughs> wildly swinging golden eggs all over the place, and Fervent Champion, that's not a sword, that's a an Astrolabe and a, a Guild Globe. Vendorize coming in, Fervent Champion, like, no, <laughs> Snow Globe, stay back, stay back. <laughs> oh, Pledge of Brawl. <laughs> oh, what a silly card. About it. Sylvan Karyatid. Sure. Are we actually going to win this? Is that a thing that's happening, us winning this game? That's mind-blowing, but it might actually be happening. Pwn it. So I'm expecting Soul Flare. Yeah, but there's no Hexproof, right? Double Strike, Haste, Trample, Vigilance. Sure. Vern Catacombs. Opponent goes to combat. No attacks. Well, crack Arid Mesa. Get a Snow-Covered Plains. And yeah, I guess we just get rid of Soul Flare. Uh, uh oh. Opponent cracks. Blood Crypt tapped. Oh, maybe they're just thinning their deck. All right. Well, Soul Flare down. Okay. We untap. Renegade map. Draw a card. And Gruel War Plow. Draw a card. And equip. Equip. Yeah. I mean, can we attack? Can we? Yeah, we're going to. Are we going to? Opponent has two cards in hand. Yeah, let's do it. Equip. <laughs> oh, this a champion. Equip. Equip. Combat. <laughs> Attack. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Yeah. Opponent. Going to block. And block. And block. Yeah. Well, sure, we'll we'll kill a bunch of stuff. Hit our opponent for nine. Opponent mills. Ugh, Kermanicor. That's scary. Oh, we might just be dead still. I'll move it over. And, yeah, pass the turn. Ooh, we're in a scary spot if our opponent has another soul flare. Opponent. What do you got? What do you got? I mean, this is this is kind of working. Phone <laughs> uh, it. Yeah, guess it's something. Oh dear, with a lot of mana. Is this Zatalpa? Are these hard casting Zatalpa? They are. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Land. Phone it. Passing. Well, Hammer of Perforos. Draw a card. Snow covered mountain. Is there any way we can Is there any way we can win through our opponent having removal? So this would be if we play Toll Collector, that would be six. This can pump pure steel. Well, alright. I mean Toll Collector. Equip Hammer of Perforos. And opponent scopes it up! Oh my goodness, we won! We did it! We did it! 
it. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So what did we learn this week about the bludgeoning in modern? And, of course, we went on to lose that last match uh, against Soul Flayer in Soul Flayery ways. Figured we'd end on a high note. So overall, we managed to win two games out of five matches, which means bludgeoning pretty below average as far as winning. However... When we did win, we won in really hilarious ways. And I still gotta say, I love the flavor of the deck. I love the picking up of the astrolabes and the maps and beating the opponent with it. So I'm glad that we stuck to it and got the wins eventually. And the wins were super sweet when they finally did come. But really, ugh. The deck isn't very competitive, and I'm not sure there's any way of fixing that. In all honesty, I played like five or six different builds of Bludgeon Brawl, trying all different things. I had sub builds. I was really obsessed for a while with Velshik Battlemaster with Mycosynth Lattice, because I thought it would be really funny to just uh, play Lattice and then play Battlemaster and like equip all of our opponent's lands. Any non creature permanent would just like be an artifact and get sucked into Battlemaster. Unfortunately, that plan's not really effective, and equipping lands doesn't actually do anything. Uh, and and it doesn't come together hardly at all in a format as fast as modern. And you also got the question, like, if you're playing Mycosynth Lattice, why aren't you just, like, playing Karn and just winning the game straight up? Why are you trying to, like, equip your opponent's lands for no value? But we're playing against the odds. So I think I'm not really sure there's any way to make Bludgeon Brawl good. I feel like this was is as good of an attempt as you can get. It asks for so many things. You have to play creatures that care about equipment, but then you can't actually play equipment because Bludgeon Brawl doesn't like equipment, so you have to play non-creature, non-equipment artifacts, which makes the deck incredibly clunky. When it all comes together, it's sweet. Like, we get a Pure Seal Paladin, a Bludgeon Brawl, and all of our stuff is, like, drawing us multiple cards. We can do super cool things, but what happens more often is our creature just gets killed, and we don't do anything. Or our creature lives, but we don't have Bludgeon Brawl, and we have, like, a million Renegade maps and Alchemist Vials, but they can't turn into equipment because we don't have Bludgeon Brawl. So the consistency issue is really huge. The deck... Even when it does its thing, it's not super powerful by modern standards. Like, yes, we can sometimes, like, make a hasty pure steel paladin that's 20 power, but it still just dies to lightning bolt and fatal push. Still gets chump lock if we don't have gruel war plow. So I feel like the bludgeoning, it's a funny deck. I think it's hilarious. As far as being effective, though, eh, not super high in the competitive scale. Actually, the opposite. It is about as low on the competitive scale as an against the odds deck can be. But hopefully it was still fun to watch. Hopefully the image of us picking up some maps and golden eggs and just like smashing it on Karn's face and Uga's face, hopefully that was enough to make it a worthwhile against the odds episode. <laughs> anyway, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and uh, I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here